Hello everybody and here is a little update to my previous Perfect Hands video, where I showed you how to use Blender to generate depth maps for your hands and positions for your characters using a 3D model. Because today in this little update I will show you how you can do pretty much the exact same thing inside Stable Diffusion by combining two brand new extensions. The first extension is called Pose X that allows you to pose a skeleton in 3D and then combine this with the depth map library and poser extension. And to install these extensions you're gonna click on extensions, click on available, then load from. Then you're gonna look for Pose X and then click install. Then for the depth map library extension, you're gonna click the link in the description down below. You're gonna copy the URL for this extension, then click on install from URL, paste it right here, and then click install. Then finally, you're gonna click on installed, check for updates, and finally click on apply and restart UI. And then you will see two brand new options appear, the Pose X panel and the depth library tab. And here, if you click on Pose X, you will see now a skeleton that is very similar to what you can find in the open pose editor. However, this brand new Pose X extension allows you to manipulate this skeleton in 3D, which is really, really cool. It's basically like having Blender but inside Stable Diffusion. And that's really, really cool. And then just like the open pose editor, you can take different parts of the body and place it any way you want. Here you will see three buttons that allows you to reset either the view, the pose or everything. So let's say for example that you want to reset the pose. If you click here, it will be the exact same pose as the beginning. And if you click on reset camera, it will reset the camera and the view as to what it was in the beginning. Now when it comes to the control, the left click allows you to either rotate the camera around or select body parts that you want to move. The middle mouse button allows you to zoom in and out and the right click allows you to either move the camera up and down left and right or if you select the character, it will allow to move the character only. So what's really great with this extension compared to the open pose editor is that not only you can have multiple bodies and multiple skeletons, then you can move around and position any way you want, but if there is a pose that you like, you can click on this button right here to save the pose. Just click on this button, input a name, and then click OK. And as you can see, this brand new pose will now be right here, and you can reuse it whenever you want. So once you have created a pose that you like, you can click on this button right here to download the image onto your computer. And now we're gonna use this position in combination of this brand new depth library extension. Because as you might have guessed, this depth library extension is basically a pretty huge library of hands depth maps that you can use in ControlNet. So now for example, if I click on add background image, and I select the pose that we just created, we have now the choices of all of these hands to input into this image. So for example, let's say that I want an open hand right here. I'm gonna look for open hand, click on it. It will appear in this box here. And then you can click on add to make this hand appear in this area. And you can now resize it in any way you want, either scale it up or down, vertically, or horizontally, rotate it, and you can even do a symmetry flip by for example grabbing this side of the image and then dragging it on the other side. And as you can see we went from a left hand to a right hand. So now if I scale this hand down and I place it right here on the image so that it corresponds better to the character, we have now an open pose skeleton and a depth map of a hand in the perfect position. And you can of course add multiple hands to the image and then do the exact same thing. Just resize it, rotate it around and try to position this correctly. And then once you're done with the position of the hands, you can click on this button right here to save the PNG onto your computer or send the image to ControlNet. And as you can see now, this depth map will appear right here. So now, just like in my previous Perfect Hands video, we're gonna combine two different ControlNet models together. One depth map for the hands and an open pose skeleton for the pose. So don't forget to enable this. Do not choose anything right here. Just choose a depth model. Here for the pose, choose the open pose. Then you're gonna write your prompt. And now if I click on generate, gives you something like this, which is again a character in the exact same position as the open pose model and with the hand in the exact same shape as the depth map. And although it's not perfect, as you can see right here, it did not take into consideration the second hand, it's still extremely powerful and very easy to use. Also, if you want to add more depth maps to the depth library, you can, and here's how. First, make sure that you have a depth map of a hand that you either generated yourself or took somewhere else. Then you're gonna delete the black background using a tool like photopea.com. So here, just click on open from computer, choose your image, then select the magic wand tool, 
click on the black background, and if there is more than one area where there is black backgrounds, you can just hold shift and click. And then, once the background is selected, you can just press on delete to delete the background. Then you're gonna select the crop tool, select fix ratio, one by one, then center your image, and then click right here to confirm. And now that we have a beautiful hand in a transparent background, you can just click right here in files, export as, PNG, and then click save. So then you're gonna select your image, Ctrl X to cut it. In your Stable Diffusion Web UI folder, you're gonna go into Extensions, SD Web UI Depth Lib, then Maps. You're gonna paste your image right here. And then if you launch Stable Diffusion and go to Depth Library, you will see now your brand new depth map. And then if you click on it and click on Add, you can now use it exactly like the other depth maps. So again, that's really super cool. So again, if you want more information on how to get the best hands in Stable Diffusion, I highly suggest that you watch the previous videos on the subject. So there you go, have fun!